your sleeves and put on your plastic gloves. It's time to get dirty down into the nitty gritty of things. You're welcome. You are. Did you hear me welcome you? You're welcome for to be here. I'm welcoming you here. I'm not. It just occurred to me that it's it's kind of funny to just say you're welcome that way instead of welcome to the show. It's different. It sounds like I'm, you know, telling you you're welcome for something that I'm perceiving that you had thanked me for, but that's not really what's going on here. Anyways, my name's Eric. As always, I'm joined by Kyle. Hey. And Jeremy. Hi. And there's always that one man behind the scenes who does things mm, with his jeans. With his in his jeans. <laughs> that's Ooh. Kuiper. We're talking about his dancing, right? Yes. 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 He does like to dance. If you haven't seen him dance, Spend you know some how to check bus. it out. Uh I but you are welcome to be here and welcome. Thanks for coming to the Tubcast. It's a weekly show. If you're not familiar with that, very weekly. Then hello and welcome for to you for being new. Um Again, my name's Eric. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that again. Uh, hey. Hey, guys. I just got a Twitter notification. Um, Mendatub has gone live on Twitch. Oh, so, yeah, oh boy. We're live, and you're welcome. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's getting cold here uh, in, in the Nebraska, Omaha, Iowa, Council Bluffs area mm-hmm. where we are located. Um, so I'd just like to do a friendly reminder to all of you homeowners or people that live in homes that have hoses please go uh unconnect te- detach your hose tonight take you them know off. i haven't even winterized my pool yet oh cool and it rained to the point of overflowing oh. yesterday uh. so yeah there's that there's like a i'm cer- wondering if i just leave it and we could turn it into a like above ground ice skating you know rink. i really i like to i would like to be inside the mind of one of our listeners uh, and when they're imagining what Jeremy's home is like, <laughs> because the way that we ha- we talk about this being in his basement, his studio, which what tr- what from, from the <laughs> like the eye of the camera, if you haven't figured that out by now. I'm you're really saying, not paying. But attention. I'm just saying, like, it's it true. looks really nice. And then he's talking about like his pool all the time. <laughs> not that you don't have a nice pool, but if people are just maybe like really imagining that you have like this very elaborate, they should come visit the dungeon entrance to the. <laughs> it is a dungeon. No, it's nice. It's we a lovely just, home, but it's just funny. A coat of paint does wonders, doesn't it? I don't know if it, e, e, any of you guys have been like anywhere other than my basement in a really long time. No, um, mm. I went to the bathroom during extra life. You were out of yeah, here. Yeah, that's like that's literally eleven no. months Has and ten days away. This, eleven months and ten no, days. No, this away. summer when you were out of town, I came and, and like oh, let your dog out. That's true. So I was Who let the dog out? eleven months and ten Eric. days away. I let your Stop. dog out, and I fed it, and I yeah. gave it water. That was my nice way of saying it's 21 days until Extra Life. Extra Life's coming up, so get ready. That's going to be 24 hours of to the day suffering. Yeah. Great suffering. Great suffering for, for children. children. We're really saints. I hope everyone uh, acknowledges Well, they our suffer. Sainthood. That's why they're in the hospital. But, okay. That's not so. that's not something you needed to point out to everyone. Or no, what that's why they should donate to help support. That's like a weird yeah. guilt trip, and I don't How think we want to hurt. Trip? I like, don't understand. Hurt our chances of getting donations by guilt. Anyways, if you want to be part of that, you could join our team. Um, yeah. Or you could donate. We'll get those links going up here we'll get soon, them soon, and uh, we'll get We're all working that, on it. That rolling, and that, like Jeremy said, is in three weeks. It's a fun time. I yeah. always enjoy it. It's it's. Uh, always those last, like that last haul, about four hours there, six hours is Woo-hoo. pretty rough, Woo-hoo. but it's a good is time. It, is it ever? It's just going to be the four of us this year, which is yeah. kind of sad. Yeah. Unless we and can It's going to be better because it's like three hours before I get on a plane. That I know, means and then you go out of Orlando But that means we work. all have to be that much more engaged the entire time. Yeah. Something like that. But maybe maybe uh maybe we'll have some guests. Do we stop have by. yeah, maybe we'll have some guests stop by. Who knows? Do we have a guy um, is there a donut delivery guy? There probably we is. We should totally do one of those like an Uber one of those Eats type Uber of Eats deals or what's the other one's called? I don't know, it doesn't matter. We're Door not Dash. Grub Door Dash. Hub. We should totally do that Grub and give them directions to the alley. Tonight's episode of the Tubcast is brought to you by Grub Hub. That would be awesome. Where when you're hungry, they're willing to deliver. 
for four dollars more than your food would cost if you drove there yourself. Yeah, that's a good deal. That's laziness. Why are you slurping Sometimes over there? Sometimes it's a time oh, no. slob. Sometimes it's a time constraint. You, you know? slurpy slob. Boy. I was trying. I was trying to do the theatrics of the. You know, it's it's the looking away mm. tea type of thing. Our audio listeners can't see me. Tea. So. You're not drinking tea. It's for. No, well, Kyle's drinking energy drinks, of course, because yeah. he's Kyle. Probably has ginseng in it or something, so I guess you could call it tea. I don't think. No, it this does. one's a little more it's like Mountain soda. Dew. Oh. It's the drink. kickstart, so he's like, mm. it's just got some like vitamin B or something. I can't have those. Those yeah. are those are bad for me. These ones, these ones don't have much more caffeine than than a soda does, mm. and don't they contain five percent. Ju- how much? How much soda does or how, mu- how much uh, soda does a soda have? Yeah, I don't know how much it's got wood, wood, wood chuck chuck. It's only got ninety two grams of of caffeine in the sixteen. Only ounce. what's that mean? Mm. Well, I mean for for half of that, it's forty six. How it much tells is you in how that? much caffeine's in there? Jeremy, where have you been for the last Wait, like seven years? This can is too small. It doesn't tell you how much caffeine's in it. Let it, me look. Let's see. He has a baby can of Coke. You've never you've never I seen said him before. That like a Canadian. No. It says 21 milligrams per seven and a half. Oh, yeah. you read way uh, too much. On Grumio this says, "Stop justifying it, Kyle." I will justify it forever. And how much? No, did you're that right. One have? Yeah, and how much did that one it. have? This one has 96. Oh per my 16. goodness! What? It's 46 for the eight ounces. How many ounces okay, is this? Okay, this is seven and a half ounces, so almost the same. It's only 21. Okay. It's half. Well, the, the amount of caffeine yeah, but in a, Coke in a is original also half, taste Coca Cola. Coke is also half of what a Mountain Dew would be. This is a just thrilling conversation. I mean, I love it. I love you, it. You skidded us no. right into it. <laughs> no, it's all With my the fault. Energy I'll drink. take the. Uh, I'll nope. take the blame. I mean, you did slurp though, Kyle. So. I did. I did. You drew attention to your energy drink. Mount, Mountain Dew has fifty-five grams of what per per Sugar. twelve ounces, so okay. of caffeine. So how much does Bang have in it, though? How That's what I really want to know. Yeah, let's see. Because Bang Energy tonight's episode of the Tubcast is brought to you by Bang Energy. If you hate your life and never want to sleep again, have a Bang. Hey, Gremios, welcome to the chat. Jolliver, welcome to the chat. Mm, thanks, we, everyone. We appreciate you guys putting up with us. <laughs> okay, so a Bang Energy drink has how much caffeine? Let's see. This is taking tr- too long. I'm trying to find it. 300, 300 milligrams. <laughs> Isn't that a lot? That's a lot. Like, <laughs> I was going to say. In, that's, in a 16-ounce so can. So that means an 850 like, versus 48. This is 92 for a kickstart. Yeah. Mm. That's like triple. That is how math works. That's how math works. Mm-hmm. Once I did math on a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get some bangs for uh nope. for, for extra life. Those start I at, I drink a cotton start candy at one seven in the morning and it screwed me up bad for like for like months. I think I had six months of insomnia. It messed up something in my brain. I'm not saying it's from the, solely from the responsible, but it triggered a demon in me. And then it, it 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 does have. I mean, it's supposed to be a workout a one because it's got the creatine. Oh yeah yeah. You want to get ripped. Yeah. The only way to really grow muscles is caffeine. And bang energy. Mm. Uh, Grumio says this show is so scripted. Yeah. He knows. He's, yeah. He gets it's it. Fine, Teddy. You just, get this show. Just, he knows. <sighs> Teddy just knows things. Oh, that's right. He changed his name. Mm. How dare you forget. I just had forgotten which name was his. No. Nope. It's been a while. I've it's missed. Oh wow. wow! Now you're like soft shaming him. Yeah. No. You're, you're oh soft my shaming. goodness. We that want, was in the we script. We want him in the show all the time. Yeah. That's what it was. In the chat. Join us every Thursday night. Wow. <laughs> so. What's everybody been up to? You know what I did? I saw a movie. You went to a movie. You I did. Could, I was so excited to see this movie, and then it's like cartoon. Yeah, it's a cartoon. Yeah, it's a cartoon. And uh, that's totally a movie that Eric would go to see in the theater. Kids are welcome at this movie. It even had signs up at the theater when I got there. This isn't your normal comic book film. It's one specifically for children. Enjoy the show, kids. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's called the Joker, or it's called Joker, not the yeah, Joker. Joker. Um, you saw it, Kyle. I saw it as well. You just saw it like a day or two ago. Yeah, I I saw it on Tuesday. So did you like it? Uh, yeah, yeah. I liked it a lot. Okay, cool. I it, think 
that it's good. I'm surprised. The internet's like so all over the place about this movie. And yeah. uh, I, 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 one thing is like all the hype before the movie where people are like, oh, this is going to like trigger, spawn, like, trigger copycat crimes. And this is, this is going to be the FBI releasing something saying, you know, that this could be high risk for like active shooters or something like that. Like yep. all this stuff. And I'm just like, what in the world is this movie about? Yep. Like what's going to happen in this movie? So it almost, you know, you know how it's, it made it that is by saying, hey, this is a movie that's going to probably cause this and planting that idea in people's heads. Like, who... Because I mean, it's free I'm advertising. Saying, I'm, I'm saying, like, there's nothing Nobody in said this that, movie... Though. I don't know anything about the movie. I don't think that there's anything in this movie that would necessarily cause that. But, I mean, you've got the media that freaks out and goes, oh, this is going to cause these people well, to go and I do something. I think it's people who saw it early, and I, I, and I don't... I mean, I'm not saying... I just think that it overhyped it in such a way that, right. like, I was almost, like expecting i think in, good in my in my head i expected like the violence and the things that happened in the movie to just be like way more than actually was it was so, so not over the top the I mean, way that you would think it was it was definitely like it was definitely there but it's the tension of the whole movie where the build-up the escalation the i gotta say like it this movie i have not stopped thinking about it since yeah. i saw it saturday i i I understand why there's a lot of controversy behind it, but I think what it does really, really well is it points out in our society why, like, so the, I don't, I don't. What's mean, the premise of the movie? I have no it's idea. Joker. It's, Joker. it's Joker. Yeah, that's not a premise. Joker. That's that's. You know who the Batman is? It's his yeah. nemesis. But that doesn't like all the things you're talking about. I'm like. Uh, okay, so this you know, don't worry about it. Does it, it's beat, an does it beat the story. pencil on the table? That's all okay. I want to know. Okay, so anyways, yes. what I what I wanted okay. to say before I was rudely interrupted, uh, really by someone really? who is like doesn't know who the Joker is. I guess I'm just saying you're, you're talking around the movie. <laughs> well, I don't want to give it away. I'm not going to okay, sit here and yeah. tell you what the movie is. You need to go see it. It's yeah, it's incredible. Like this is a so, spoiler free zone. So and Jeremy, you'll love it because it has nothing to do with Batman. He's not even in it. So it'll be right up your alley. <laughs> No Batman. Um, well, the last move, Joker m movie with the Joker in it was pretty bad. Yeah. The last movie with I'll the Joker in it that. was not this movie. You are I'm, I'm aware I, of that. I, I, but, oh, boy. Just let me finish it's, my thought. I'm before saying we it like has, go doesn't have much to you know just, compete just, with from the previous. Anyways, all I want to say about it is that I, I think that like in a culture where we are surrounded by a lot of individuals, I mean, not a lot, but we do have these incidents with mass shootings and we we label people immediately are we I, they deserve the label right they're the bad guy it's a bad guy and i think a lot of times i think the fear with this movie is that it was going to try to put bad people on a pedestal and make them some sort of martyr or our hero or something justify the uh, bad and and i think what it actually does really well is if anything it points out uh, it points out like it humanizes the villains in our life, and I think that's that's really important for us as a, like a, a society as whole to like we can't just point at a person and go oh they're a bad person because they did a bad thing, and and that's the end of the story. Like, and I think what this movie does is it gives you so much build up and background, and you see all of the emotional damage, you see all of the f the familiar damage, the psychological damage the f the physical abuse that happened and like all the stuff that caused this person to go the on the trajectory that he did like, in the film yeah. that you start to go okay mm -hmm. this as a as a society now we can look at this and go wow i am i feel for this person now i don't it doesn't mean i'm justifying their behavior right. but now because i understand it like you can become Hopefully, it would inspire people to want to be part of the solution for people who are struggling with these types of like mental disorders or right or this type of psychosis. And like, I, it doesn't go too far to say it's not his fault, though, right? Or I'm does not going to tell you what the movie does because okay. I feel like you need to see it. It That's is too. I mean, it, there's there's so many layers with the movie too. It's no. I mean, it's not you just you just can't talk I'm about just it without thinking. Ruining. That's a pretty common thing in our society too. What? Where once once you have a way to humanize it, then it's no longer their fault. 
like you know their actions I, aren't their I own would kind of I thing. would assume like a best way I could answer that is that it's left to interpretation like I don't think that they would say that I feel like that would be really irresponsible for a filmmaker to say that right um but anyways I I don't I don't we don't need to belabor the point because I do feel like you you would lose a lot by not just going and seeing the right. film but if I mean if you it definitely is one of those where you're gonna leave at least I did I just I couldn't like it's not a I'm such a like I'm so over comic book movies that this was such a breath of fresh air to me to see something that was much more realized and gritty and it it had layers to its story and it made you think and it had like I'm not saying that from like oh I'm I just I can only enjoy these types of movies it's just this is the type of movies that I do enjoy it's a movie so. that you that you absolutely through the course of it like or at least for me anyway I had these moments where I was like. Oh wait, yeah. This is a this is a movie based on a comic book character. Like, you forget that is, quickly. You, you forget that you're in that world, and then there will be something that'll pop up about Gotham City or whatnot, and you're like, oh yeah, that's that's where this is. Like, it it just mm. feels like you're in like a Chicago or New York in the early '80s. Definitely New York. At, yeah. Um, and it's I mean it's just it is. And that's the other Visually, thing that I didn't expect. I didn't realize yeah. it was a period piece. So yeah. that was really the way it was shot and everything. It it felt like it felt like Taxi Driver. It felt like yeah. a movie from kind it, of that era. Like that. And, like, and, and I mean, I'd heard that comparison before, but like watching it, I'm like, yes, this is like this is 100 percent where they decided that they were going to go with this was was Taxi Driver. Um, I think there's another one that they that a lot of people have referenced as it being similar to another um, one, another yeah. movie. Like what? Um, I can't remember what. I think they could. You could. I mean, I don't think there's probably just one more. There's a. Well, there's there's two particular ones. One that's a uh, that's uh, both of them actually starring Robert De Niro. Um, where I think the other oh, one the he's got like a. Is yeah, it the comedian. I, it's not the comedian. It's something where he's got like an obsession with Jerry Lee Lewis or something. I haven't seen the movie, mm. um, but like, which in and of itself was interesting that that Robert De Niro has has a role in this movie as well mm -hmm. um just with the similarities to other movies <clears throat> that yeah seem like it was following so the to, footsteps to try to better answer jeremy's question is this is not this is not like oh popcorn comic book movie this isn't just this isn't anything like suicide squad that it movie is, was garbage it is a, this it is, is a very piece of art. this is i mean like I'm, Okay, Scorsese. I mean, well, no, I'm just saying, like, it was... it was. <laughs> this is art. I no, mean, like, I was interested uh, until Kyle's comment. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, like, it's it's a it's a put-together, like, visually, it felt like everything had a purpose it's, in the way that it, like, was set up. The music itself... It's just, just very masterfully done. It's like... Yes. It's like... It just feels like there was a lot of attention to detail in the film, and... um. And it's Joaquin Phoenix. I don't know if you know that. It's the king of comedy. Who That's the one. Yep. But I think, I mean, what was the, I don't know. There, I feel like there's a lot of. There There probably are. I think those are just the two big ones that, that maybe it's that the directors and people attached to the movie have said, hey, we've kind of thought about those two movies and kind of went in that direction mm -hmm. uh, with it. But, um, yeah, Joaquin Phoenix is, he is unreal. <laughs> I think he's a like a a guy that a lot of people forget about a lot of the stuff that he's done, um, and and that he has done successfully. Like, uh, I mean, I, I still have yet to see it, but uh, everything I've heard about her is that that is a pretty fantastic movie. He did f great with like Walk the Line. He even sold the fact that like. He was crazy and lost his mind when he retired from acting, um, and and like his clip on Letterman went went like viral because everybody thought that he'd lost his mind, and then he we found out like a year later, oh, he was filming a movie that was a mockumentary. Um, he's just I I think he's a vastly underappreciated actor um, in general. Uh, yeah, I've, I've saw there's some there. People are wondering if he will be up for an Oscar for this or not. But uh, French Connection that was the other movie I was thinking of that it's very okay. similar to. Uh, Grumio says I haven't seen Joker yet, but is the film really that far removed from all the other films? 
is it this different uh that's Sultan of the Sea or uh Gummo or Dar Ani Darko? Or is it being a movie based on a comic book character set in an a part together it, it it's very much its own thing it definitely has like it's not connected to the dark knight or any of the other right. like batman movies it's a, um, it's a standalone it's, his his backstory is very different from any joker backstory that i've ever heard he's got a name um yeah and so it's just a lot of that stuff is is different but it is still connected like you'll you'll hear the names of the connected Wayne, like in, the Waynes like, and Bruce Wayne and like some of that there's connections there right it to um, like Gotham City and and everything yeah. that you know about Gotham but they're not connected to the other movies it's I, I think it's supposed to be like a secondary imprint of movies that DC is rolling out that allows them to do something a little bit darker yeah. and try to go out on a limb a little bit more it's, than it's traditional just, comic book it's stuff. It's so much in my wheelhouse of movies. Like it's just the it's the type of movie that I I love, and so it that's it just won me over. I was immediately sad because I know that they even said like, yeah, this Joker will never see Robert Pattinson in a movie. Like they're not gonna cross paths. Um, oh, it'd and, be so cool if and, they decided to I, do a a path where I just kind of want to see like yeah like can they put can they keep the same brevity and the same kind of like tone in a Batman movie because I I don't know because I think like Batman does add this other layer of campiness to anything I know I think Nolan did it really well but it's still just like how can you how could you work that in there I don't know I think you know it'd be tough I think what would really be an interesting way to do it um, would be to continue the film series as if it is just following the Joker um, and you're watching everything from his perspective. Right. Any type of... I think and you'd in have which, to. In which, like Batman, you don't hardly see nearly as much of him or his backstory or mm -hmm. anything else the way that you do... Right. Like, the way that you don't see the Joker in The Dark Knight, you just kind of see he's yeah. there and he's the... Yeah, other no, I force. understand what you're saying. I, just, I think it'd be really cool. I would, I yeah, I just I would love them to do something more. I, even if the next Batman movie just has this tone to it, I don't know. I don't know how they achieve that. I'm not probably the one. Obviously, they're talking to to write that movie. It's we uh, the, but, the whole DC universe thing is weird too because it feels like they're like half rebooting it. They're gonna do a new Suicide Squad, which to me I'm like, how on earth are you green lighting that with like some of the cast, some of the cast isn't going to be returning, but it's James Gunn that's going to direct it, who directed the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Mm -hmm. So it's just like this weird, like, what exactly are they doing over there? Because they're going to have to find a new bat or a new Superman. They've got a new Batman, but they've got Flash, Wonder Woman, and um, Aquaman. That's right. That's the guy that Kuipers likes. Uh, they got the three of them that seem like they're all still involved in it so it's it's a weird warner brothers has no idea what they're doing with a a universe itself yeah that's i think they're just trying to see what sticks because yeah. they have to but i mean I, I mean for me at least my like i'm from a personal yeah preference i'm like yeah let's do more of this it's 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 very contrary to what marvel's doing and it sets you guys apart in this way that I just feel like DC stuff has always been grittier, though, than like Marvel. Marvel it has. I they, mean, in general. So, like, why not just own that? Right. Instead of going for these, like, over the top trying to. Because, like, even with the last, you know, Justice League and Batman versus Superman and, and even, even to a certain extent Wonder Woman, like, they're just so over the top with the CG and all of this stuff. And it's just like, you see a movie like this where the director can show you. Uh, like there was a video I was watching where he was just like showing on an iPad, like almost like football play by play style, like circling stuff. And he's like showing you how they film this scene in New York and, Oh, Hey, look right here. All this in the background is CG, but like, you don't notice it because it's done right. so tastefully and like, and it's not, well, just... and it's, it's like the stuff that's in the background to make it look like it's probably from the time period that they wanted it. Mm -hmm. And you just don't know it because you're taking in the whole scene and you're focusing on the yeah, character and, it's, and it's, everything. I mean, it's at a point now where you wouldn't notice it, you right. know, just because it's so clear. But, yeah, but it's stuff like that. Like I, just, I think, I think I the other big reason that it is so different from everything else is because it's not anything that's like supernatural or like 
it, it, no. it's it's not like a, a man who is wearing a costume that is outlandish the way that Batman is and like even though he doesn't have any powers he still like fights like he has powers um there's none of that in this movie it is very much it's just, just normal reality. people yeah i mean you're inside his head a lot too so there's definitely like kind of like craziness going on there but like you you it's just it's stitched in with reality so much that you don't even don't even know uh tim gunn is who you're thinking of grimos not james gunn tim gunn is the host you of project me, runaway you made me panic there for a second i was um, like did i say the wrong name no okay. anyways that's not about joker if you can handle it it's it's a little bit dark. It's, it's a little dark. gruesome, and it's probably s- going to make you feel stuff. I, s- I sat in my car for like ten minutes after I after I left, just trying to process everything that was running through my brain because it's it's, it's two hours of just f- thought provoking movie. I, at least for me, it was so. Uh, what's ever, what else have we been doing, boys? Uh, I finished Control this week. Uh, finished actually last night finished it up that is a game that i think is a lot better than it should be um really i, I don't know i mean like it's just it's with all the complications Why is it better than it should be though I, and i i guess i'm i'm saying it from the standpoint of like playing it on playstation it chugged so much oh. it's one of those like it's fun so and I, th- I, d- I took it as you were talking about like the pedig- pedigree of like of those games like because it comes from like the Alan Wake. Right. And, no, and not that. not necessarily that. I mean, it's it's good. It, it was the story was intriguing. I'm still not sure I even understand what all of the story was. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure I understand what I did, but I had fun doing it when as, as you gain powers and, and go through it. Mm-hmm. The difficulty in a couple of spots were was just yeah. insane um one of the last real big parts i i agree with i was like wait i have to go through all of this again because i died that end part that end part yeah. was was rough but uh it's a it's if you can play it on a on a system that's not going to chug quite as much as like the playstation does um it's definitely worth a play uh there's there the one <laughs> The one scene, or the, not the scene, but like the the part where you're kind of running through that maze with the with the janitor's headphones on, mm-hmm. um, that may have been my favorite like gaming moment of the year because it's so ridiculous the way that the music comes in and. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I really like that part. Uh, Krumios, uh says Alan Wake bashing confirmed. No, I was not bashing Alan Wake. I just thought he was talking about. He thought those games were bad, and so he thought this game would be bad. That's what I thought you meant. No, 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 and no. So I haven't actually played those either. Uh, Alan Wake isn't trash. I heard uh, Alan Wake was pretty good. Alex373 says Joker lives in Atlanta and works at a drugstore. That's right. He does work yeah. at Walgreens down there in Atlanta. I saw him that there. That makes sense. Uh, the, uh, yeah, I don't um, – I don't – I didn't think – I didn't think Alan Wake was bad. The other game seemed a little rough that they made. Uh, I think it the, what the, was the one they made before Control. Uh, it was Quantum Break. Quantum. I think it was because break, yeah. it seemed like it was because it was half like video and half game. Yeah. Like the you the, could definitely they, tell they were from the same developer though. Yeah. Yeah. And it just wasn't. I don't know. The gameplay just wasn't that interesting. In, I think control in that one. Control, control just like, has like really interesting gameplay with yeah. all the telekinesis and all the different powers you get. And I think that like when you stop getting new powers is when the game falls flat for me. Like I like you I don't want to spoil what the powers are, but you keep getting these different powers and then all of a sudden it gets to a point where you're not getting them anymore. And then it's just it, that's where it kind of became a slog to me where I was just like, Okay, I gotta get through this. Uh but See and I felt uh, like I didn't get most of my most of my stuff until almost the very end like the last little bit and i was like holy crap i can do these things now this is awesome i don't know how um, you could have got them differently so, than me though they well come, no i mean like them out and two of the two of, like yeah the two of them are the like later they're late game though so it's like oh mm-hmm. there's not that there's one that i think was gated behind like a side mission oh, that okay. i didn't do okay. um but yeah it's it's fun the the i mean having the powers makes you feel 
I, I don't know. It feels really good the way that it moves. Uh, it's just that with the PlayStation, it was, you know, as everyone has reported on it, it just yeah. kind of chugged. Jeremy, speaking of chugging of games. Yeah. I just saw on the agenda, it says <laughs> under Jeremy, nothing. I live a sad and boring life filled with work and more work. And, and then, then this. this. That's that's what I felt like. This so you're week, bored. I you're bored with this. Uh, no, no he's that said, was the he's, only thing outside of work that I do. Is, this is the only not <laughs> sad part. That's what I it felt like. This you week. know what? I, I should have texted you and and said, "Hey, let's go see Joker together." I should have. It would have been sure. Fun. He wouldn't have cared uh, if I was in town. Welcome to the oh, chat, yeah. Luca, Lucado, Lucada bomb, Lacuda bomb, Lasuda bomb, Luca, Luca the bomb, Luca the bomb, Luca, there it's Luca. Go. Yo, I'm terrible at reading these run together names. Luca, Don't you remember welcome. Luca? Alex373 says, if I can buy a hardly used Nintendo Switch with no games for $150, it's not a good deal. Uh, yeah, probably. If it's not hard, if it's yeah. hardly used. Because, I mean, even the new Switch Lite that's coming out is $250 new. Right. And, so. it does, and that one doesn't dock. Um, and the controllers are yeah. To the TV. Daddy. We know Jeremy docks. But um, the, um, <laughs> the, yeah, I don't, I, I don't think... That it does, yeah. If it's the docking one and all of that, that's like a three hundred and fifty dollars system. So that's yeah, pretty, that's pretty good. You could totally sell that for probably two hundred bucks or two hundred and fifty bucks, maybe. I feel like two hundred and fifty might be a stretch. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Uh huh. No, I have played just a little bit of a little bit more of um, Ghost Recon, mm -hmm. and I realized something. Probably why it's getting so much poo poo in the press. If you read any reviews, it's they're pretty bad. It does chug at, at points where you don't think it should. Some of the um, colors seem to be weird every now and then, the way that they render. Uh, other than that, the environment is pretty cool and, and extremely large. Mm. Um, but uh, what I realized, I think I've put maybe eight hours total into the game, and I've barely done any of the missions because I don't, I'm not invested at all in them. The like, there's like a cave that's like your hub, where there's other characters. I haven't done any P PvP or um, any of that stuff yet, so I don't know how that would would play out. Um, but the only thing that I've enjoyed doing is going around the inv the world or the environment, the island, and sniping bad guys and stealing helicopters and looking for loot and. That That's sounds like that ticks it. off all the things that you would do in a yeah, game. Yeah, I think. I, yeah, but 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 <laughs> zero of it's related to the mission, and even the stuff that is mission related, it was almost like an accident. I stumbled across a spot that had something, and it was like, oh, that's mission related. I might as well open that crate, you know. Mm. Um, but I but zero care about it, um what's happening it, as far as the yeah, gameplay. I mean, I, well, I don't, I just didn't, but I enjoy the shooting and the different, you know, the the way that you uh, snipe and the scopes and the different guns. All of that is smooth and mm. excellent. In fact, even even driving some of the vehicles, even though they're they they've got their own little bit of wonkiness to it, they're still like it's still refreshing to take off in a in a buggy across this rocky terrain. And um, uh, Grumio you know. says there's no monster trucks. Jeremy doesn't enjoy it. Well. I mean, yeah, but there's I mean, off-road, <coughs> large, tired <laughs> dune buggies, but so they're not close. monster and, trucks. And there is some loot. Oh, well, there's, there's plenty of loot. You can loot all kinds of things because people drop loot, like shoes or boots and, and I, pants that some you can of the pick up and like, put on your body. That's I haven't, weird. I haven't played the game yet, but I, I, I've seen some of the criticism is that it's like, it's almost like they've tried to make a multiple games in this. Like they've tried to kind of force different mechanics into it that don't quite work yeah and the but story is so <laughs> loose like is it's this, just un this is wildlands picture you put up kyphers <laughs> no offense just Back i know you're check. doing your job it, but this is the yeah it says wildlands squad at the top of the, uh, the yeah. browser there i guess i would be interested in trying some of the pvp but that's not what i would go to this game for no. it's more about co-op like yeah I the pvp like that would be fun too yeah. pvp is coming later this month mm. with your yeah, call of duties just, there you go yeah, call Jesus. Unless up. you're unless you're gonna gonna boycott them, but oh, because oh, it's Activision. Yeah, we'll get there. Uh, 
Uh, gear. I I finished Borderlands three. That's a game, and I played it. I don't know. It was a little bit hard to finish because I was getting just kind of over care. it. Uh, I started Gears Five. What level were you when you finished it? I'm I don't curious. know. Thirty five, thirty six, wow. something like I that. Like we're talking about Borderlands Three again. Yeah, I know. Thank you, Kuiper. Shut up, Kuiper. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're not gonna talk about it anymore. You said though. you played. You started I Gears. Played, I started Gears. Is that game super boring, or is that just me? Uh, a little bit. And you guys both finished it. Yeah, it's. Sh- I mean, it's it's short. Which and one? It, Gears Five. Gears Five. Yeah, totally. And was it super boring? It was like all the other. Gears. How how far into it are you? I don't know, second act. Okay. I mean, yeah, it was a little bit, but it's it's pretty much the same exact flow as the previous yeah, gears. I don't know. I just something doesn't feel the same. I don't know I think what it's, it is. I think it's the open world that you there's an, like, see, that's what I keep hearing people talk about open world. I don't even see an open it's world. It's not open world. There's it's just big open traverses world, just of big sand yeah. dunes that's, that do nothing. That's for what you. they mean by that because there's a there's large sand dunes, dunes yeah. or or large it's just uh, a like, transition space that's yeah. annoying. There's a large like there's nothing to do there. So you're in the ice area i just got to the ice area. okay like that's I where you're that's where the the, the open area is that oh, you okay. ride your skid to the uh i literally landed there and then i was i haven't tried it's just it some gotcha. big wide areas with okay. nothing in it and it's kind of dumb yeah. pointless i just i don't know i but i am controlling the female protagonist now right so i guess maybe things will change i don't know it just it, uh that's where the main storyline really i just feel like so far happens. i just can't Get invested in it, but whatever. I'll play some more of it, I guess. Uh, Until Tropico comes out tomorrow. Tropico. You're not a Tropico player. No. Tropico comes. I think Tropico came out earlier this oh, year. Oh, did didn't it? it? No, Tropico Six. Yeah, I think it came out earlier this year. Yeah. What are you talking about? I was about? gonna say, what are you? Why are you talking about? Tropico? I thought it just came out. I don't know. I Jeremy. think that it just came out on uh, GameFly. Oh. Uh, yeah, it released <coughs> March 29th. Oh, that's dumb. Grumio says, uh, I, The Surge 2. Uh, are you playing The Surge 2? Is that what you're saying? Or are you saying you like The Surge 2? Uh, he said the one both. That, the one that we do not speak of uh, would Trevor have would played have played it. it. Oh, yeah, Trevor. That's right. That's I, his name. I know he played the first Surge. Uh, I don't know if he played this one. The only Surge I've played is the uh, soda. Uh, mm-hmm. It's in a green can. And it's back. All right, we got some news to get into tonight. Uh, first story comes from Wired.com. It says exclusive, a deep look at the PlayStation 5. Uh, it has an official name. Big surprise here, PlayStation, PlayStation 5. 5. Uh, that's right. They decided to call it. I mean, I, I kind of just appreciate Sony for doing this and not being Xbox and making up stupid names every time. Uh, what do you think Xbox is going to name this one? I don't know. Just name it just Xbox. name it Xbox. Be done with Xbox it. Xbox like 2. The X or Xbox 2. Come on. Yeah. Just to be funny. That'd be, that'd be stupid yeah, enough but, to work. But it's all, they already had Xbox. Xbox 360. Right. Xbox One. And now but it's it would be, be stu- That's it would be stupid they followed enough the, to they work. They followed the Apple thing. How? How? When did that? They went to the One did? X and then the One X Pro. No, they didn't. Well, they have Xbox One S and X. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, see? So then they're going to have Xbox Two, Xbox Two X. I think they just go with, with Xbox One One or Xbox 11. I think, I think the hardest <laughs> the hardest thing for them, at, like companies to do, like with at least consoles, is to market the name that's not, if it's not different. So like if they just called it Xbox, right. there's just confusion because like, people call all of them Xbox. Like, what do you, oh, I'm playing this on Xbox. Well, w- they don't ask which one because after so far into a console generation, you people know just assume Xbox you're on the newer one. one. Yeah. 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 So it's, otherwise, you're like uh, the original Xbox. But like, if yeah. you still do that, so, or, and it still works. So when a kid tells their grandma, I want Xbox, whatever, f- f- Phantom Pain, then they know to go get the new one. Uh, not actually. That's an old game. Let's just but, call it Xbox Halo and make it circular. But they have all those custom game Xbox ones, you know. All right. Why are we talking about Xbox? We're talking about PlayStation here. Because uh, so Jeremy a, doesn't believe in PlayStation. There's a Wired article the where uh, you know this uh, this dude that works at Wired. Uh, he sat down with uh, one of the Sony uh, execs. Uh, I think it was Jim Ryan, and they chatted it up. Now there was another. I think there was an earlier Wired interview where they kind of talked about the no loading and how the games will lo- not have loading and it's gonna have an SSD and like 
all that sort of stuff. This one, they kind of talked a little more about the controller. Um, actually, a lot more about the controller. They talked more about the processing power. Uh, there was also a leaked <clears throat> or like a render because of a leaked patent. And uh, I, I think Kuiper's had a photo of that maybe. Uh, but it was like it. they confirmed today that this is like their design but that doesn't necessarily mean this is what this is what it's going to look like i do let's not let's go digital i mm -mm. do not like it i think yes. let's go digital is who rendered it like oh. it's based on a patent that sony filed oh okay so this is potentially so, not the color palette yeah there's been a couple different the palettes. whole play button stuff really it just like looks like not great. who who does that, that looks like is it is that supposed to be like a mini disc or is that I think that it's a much normal size. And is there is that, five that USB bigger? ports on the front of it? Yeah, USB C, five USB C ports. Five of them? Those yeah. US, but if that's if those are USB C ports, those are much bigger for the shape or for the size of the disc drive there. I don't know. This is just it says the SSD <coughs> drive, so yeah, that's I mean that's known. Yeah. Uh, I, this is, seems kind of Why is there a play me. and pause and rewind button? I think that's just part of the mock-up that someone... This is a rendering that an artist did. This is not the actual... They took, that's dumb. They, they took a line drawing, a line so art. So they would that was probably patent, still cover the whole thing. Up, is a, They made up the, probably the front of that. So don't get... So I bet it's going to be all black. Yeah. I don't know. I've, it, who knows? We haven't seen... the. It's just confirmed that this is technically. I mean, maybe this is what the dev kit looks like. That I can see that whole center thing is a whole cooling it's thing. Weird though, no, uh, Grumio says that the center is for heating your hot pockets. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, there you go. Yeah, cooling you can, of the machine. So you can game heating your hot pockets. and eat. Yeah, that's just, actually that's it's true. About the, the fan right would shape. the fan would kick out the hot air that would cook your hot pockets. Mm. Um, you just I gotta kind of set know, it there air cook, early. Air cooking is good for you. So, so. Yeah. your like cheese would start melting into it. Ugh. Well, that's why you put a pl there, there's probably a plate that comes with it that yeah, you slide it's a, it's in there a that'll tray. catch everything. Yeah. So one interesting thing in this article we'll that. is they mention that the the controllers will have haptic feedback instead of like your traditional rumble. Like usually, because like right Thank now goodness. on a PlayStation, it just has like two motors in there that spin and vibrate and whatever. Where this is like going to be able to put out different levels it's kind of like what the switch did with the hd rumble where they can kind of change the way it feels uh so like when you're maybe playing a racing game they compared it to oh you could feel like when you're in mud versus sand like you'll kind of feel that difference because it's haptic feedback which i think with what sony is or not sony but apple's done with like the iphone that yeah. had the fake button like that was haptic and it felt like a real button and so like and the stuff they've done with the switch those are some of those games are kind of cool where you can feel, count the marbles inside of it and yeah, uh, that's, and that's I mean it's, it seems like it has a longevity that might last a little bit longer too than the the way that like motors like as your control this does not look like something I want put next to my TV though. Why are we still yeah. talking about the design? Because it looks ugly. I know, but that don't it looks really bad. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna look like this. Yeah. It won't. Uh, I hope not. Uh, yeah, so the other thing that's really interesting is they talked about the triggers and how they'll be able to have a develop um, like a developer tension put in it. So like you could, they could code the game in a way that the trigger feels different depending on what you're using it for. So where the tension on that trigger is going to be really tough or really loose, depending on maybe like oh this like a gun will feel different or maybe when you're zooming in or something like or well pulling like of the trigger like yeah this this pistol feels different than this shotgun when i shoot it or there's different wow. i'm sure there's a lot of different things that you could work that into but uh yeah there's 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 a lot of information you can go read this article at wired if you want to get all of that but that's kind of some of the highlights from it i i don't know this is out they announced the date if you haven't heard it's coming out in holiday of 2020 so next year which uh you, um, you gotta expect that xbox is i mean they've already announced that technically what do like, you think 5.99 yeah. uh i don't know if it could i don't know if they could do that high i really don't they did that that one time with the playstation 3 and they shot mm. themselves in the foot it did not so you're thinking more like 4.99 or i mean last this last generation everything what was, was 3.99 yeah, like so seems... i don't I mean, I the, the thing with like ssd in there the controller technology 
uh, depending on how big that SSD is, the processing power. Supposedly, supposedly you're gonna, they're gonna be able to do ray tracing with this, which is only on high-end graphics cards right now. Wow! Like with all of that stuff, you know, accounted for, like I don't know how they could it's do hard it for not to be less I'd than four ninety nine. Like I don't know that that's possible. But I mean, it's one of those things that the that the question is: Will consumers buy it? Like, yeah. and I mean, when you look at you look at the way that the games haven't changed in their pricing in, in forever. I mean, maybe you don't sell as many if you ca- if you hit it at that four ninety nine as opposed to the three ninety nine. So yeah, I, yeah but it, they're not in the habit of selling at a loss, right? Right. As well, much as Microsoft was. But I mean if you're thinking consoles? about sending it out for, for holiday, you've got like parents that don't know anything about the, the consoles or like grandparents <laughs> that don't know anything about them. Um being able to pull the trigger on a three ninety nine as opposed to a four ninety nine, four to five hundred dollars. If you're spending that for your it's kid or grandkid at Christmas, it's probably nominal. Uh, yeah, Grooms, I mean, Groom, yes, there be. was an official date. That's why I said it was. A, it's twenty twenty holidays. That's all they're saying. Yeah. So it's before the before Christmas. It'll probably be be November. Yeah, that was November that was kind of when they when they were released last time around. Black Friday. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I can't foresee how this could be cheaper than four ninety nine. I really don't know how they could pull it off. Like how with all of that technology in there, yeah, I mean, you're I right. Was, the play button and everything. Uh, I, I, but but for real though, like you can't, you can't. I mean, maybe it's a smaller SSD. Maybe it's. But then it's going to get shot in the foot, and people are going to be mad about it. Well, that's the thing. I mean, the whole thing games. is the whole thing is you have to price it at a price that you know that people are going to be willing to to. But you look hey. at look at like the trajectory of like uh, of cell phones. Like everybody's yeah. used to paying a thousand dollars. That took one year. Now they're like, yeah, a thousand dollar phone. That's right. Now they're like twelve ninety nine. Okay. But yeah. I mean, you look at the sales of of like the PlayStation Pro versus the the PlayStation, and and same with like the Xbox One X. Like both of those, I don't think have sold as well because of the price. I think it's because no. they're still technically same gen. Most people, if they're going to buy one now, they just buy the the better one. Like I would say, are those? But are those still that same price that they were when they when they first came out? What was that? Two years ago. Three ninety nine. So it's three ninety nine for the one X. It was. The, I don't think it is now, but I don't. I think when they released, they were because it was like the same price as. <clears throat> uh, let's look it up. As what the original xbox one was like day one right because yeah so that's that's what i'm saying like you're also looking at that as a hey you can buy this now and you're buying it at the the price yeah, i think playstation pro right was now. a little bit higher wasn't PlayStation it playstation pro is 399 oh, it's the 399 but yeah. wasn't it higher when it first came nope. out nope it was not i'm looking at the thing okay. right now when it released it was i well, think xbox one did. x was 499 maybe was it when it came out that might be it let's look it up to do fact check in, fact check in. It's still four ninety nine. Fact check in. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, this could easily be four hundred, four ninety nine, four nine nine, four nine nine. Uh. Yeah. I. I really don't know. Yeah. I mean, I. I think it made it easier for for them to put that out as four ninety nine, knowing that people would still buy the the slim. Um. Yeah. It's if it, this is what your your flagship is going to be with the next generation. It may be it may be something that's not as easy to to do a price increase, but you're right. It, it, it's a lot of technology that they're putting into it, so it it could be something that's going to be more. I would love for it to be three ninety nine. I would love for it that, to be three ninety nine I mean, too. Everybody would, but that's not that's. I mean, what we would want may fill is that definitely not the reality of may what. keep that time between having to choose just one of them to start uh, to be a little bit shorter than oh. waiting a while to to get. To oh, upgrade yeah. both of them, you know, just drop the hundred, eight hundred dollars. It's just, just a I'm thousand just bucks. Straight up balling for two of them. It's fine. It's, uh, yeah, I'm to, so curious. Need to get some work bonuses here. Uh, so that it's can... it's crazy to think that these are both coming out next year. Start saving now. That's really what it's yeah. about. Start saving. Pretty now. sure I know which one I'll get. Uh, yeah, that's because you only you only have one to replace. Yeah, Google yeah. Stadia. Uh, yeah, exactly. there's your only one. You don't already, need already got it. Don't need these at all. Don't need these at all. You got the future coming That's in right. November. That's right. Uh, I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh Lord. Lord. Uh, all right, let's. This is coming from CBS News. Uh, oh wait, Grumio says could 
could be possible that the tech will decrease in value. PS5 will be 399 Sure. That's true. That's definitely. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's what they're, you would hope is that the tech is cheaper by the time this is. We'll find out oh. if the current gen drops in price in the next year. Well, it definitely well, will. I mean, they're not. It definitely will. They'll It'll, drop it by June, probably. Yeah. Yeah. They'll start. They're I mean, reg- get yeah, regardless, they're going to drop it because yeah. they're going to want to sell them. So, hey, you can go buy a new Xbox One. Or- Next story comes from CBSNews.com. It says Activision Blizzard stock price dips as video game players call for boycotts. Jeremy, you brought this story. I did. Are you prepared to share with the class? Well, um, they uh, um, they fired a streamer, basically, or not a streamer, uh, uh, one of their um, star gamers. That uh, worked be- for them? Yeah, because he um they banned him from playing. Uh so he didn't they didn't work yeah, for Yeah, No, but they banned <clears throat> him from being able to from playing yeah, I think in their tournaments because he uh expressed support for Hong Kong protesters. Um and uh so they banned him and now people are saying, Well, we should boycott you because of this and so, uh, some pretty big um names. There was uh uh, there was a guy who uh, actually helped uh, convince Blizzard to relaunch classic uh, World of Warcraft and um, and helped them in making it, and he publicly told them that he was going to be boycotting them because of this move. So, yeah. You, th- pretty impressive. And their stock has been dropping anyway in the last year. Pretty yeah, Everyone's stock has been dropping um, recently. Eh. Not my stock. Depends on what you have. Well, Apple's, a- Apple's been going up through the roof. Yeah, got twenty percent gain Apple. on that. Apple. Apple. So is oh. Nvidia. Nvidia's up right now too. Uh, anyway. I ate some apples this week. Mm, wrong ones. They were delicious. So yeah, this. So they also seized his earnings from a recent tournament, which was roughly ten thousand dollars. Because he is supporting the. Yes. Hmm. Uh, and the so people believe the reason that this is happening is a uh, Tencent, the Chinese technology company. Tencent. Tencent is that what it is? Mm-hmm. Uh, has 4.9 percent stake in uh, in Activision. Activision. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that they're probably that getting sense. pressured. There's a lot, a lot of people who are like de- deleting their accounts because of this, deleting their Blizzard accounts, deleting even deleting Ep- Epic Store accounts because Tencent owns yep. Epic now. Uh, Stop playing. So it's interesting Fortnite with Call of Duty kids. coming out. What yeah, I don't. Mean, I don't know so. what to. I mean, it is crazy to think that Tencent is kind of this superpower that's been slowly taking over the gaming world over the past few years. They're kind of got their fingers in everything. Um, yeah, I don't even know. Like, I haven't done my homework on this enough to like say what to think about it. But it's it's definitely it's got that like urgency around it that leads to people formulating conspiracy theory right away so like i feel like some of that is a is a little bit of a yeah a danger that i don't think we want to feed into because there were even some things where people were tweeting out that oh they won't they're not letting you delete your account now like and all this other stuff i i don't know the validity of the validity of some of that like i think some of that might have been kind of just rumors so to put it in perspective though they already were losing pretty poorly they dropped November to December last year. What was what happened then? They split from uh Bungie left. Bungie left. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When Bungie left, they went from $78 a share down to $48 a share. Ouch. Uh within a month's time frame, which was a huge hit. Was that was and that they're, the specific they're currently time? yeah, that's when that happened. And uh, in the last 12 months, they're down 26.45%. Uh, which is hmm. pretty significant. So, so are you deleting your uh, Blizzard account, Jeremy? I mean, you I mean, I don't play any games on it except for when Call of Duty comes out. Mm. So, and this new Call of Duty looks really good. It sure does. And it was, uh, beta was amazing. Uh, at least that one. one and on I don't one. think boycotts do any good. That one-on-one they mode. Don't so really. Uh, the the boycott has nothing to do with the stock drop. The stock drop is a reaction to what's happening versus a boycott, which is 
it's really not going to hit it's them funny because i remember when people were boycotting mcdonald's because they supported gays mm -hmm. and then when people boycotted chick-fil-a because they didn't support gays my dad mm -hmm. still boycotts and mcdonald's because he thinks that they promoted <laughs> pornography in the 80s <laughs> and uh <laughs> i think you told that story before Probably. on the show uh but it's just weird how like it hasn't really affected. I mean, McDonald's hasn't been doing great lately, but that's not because of any of their political that's because, leanings. That's just, that's just because there's aren't better options there. out there. Yeah. Eric, my Apple stock's up 23% now. That's probably, you know what? So is mine because we, because yeah. the same your, stock. Because your stock is <laughs> up Nvidia 23%. Is up yeah, I, I Nvidia, Nvidia is my up, Apple stock yeah, is well, up 24%. Nvidia is up 15. <laughs> Home Depot's up 14. Man. Okay, just stop looking at your stock app, you oh, weirdo. Man. Sorry. Uh, it's, yeah, mine's all down. All right. Yeah. Uh, I got rid of my Lyft and Uber because they, they lost money. And I didn't want to stop the bleeding. You got to play the long game, Jeremy. Sure. Okay. <laughs> stock tips. There Jeremy you go. And Kyle. Oh, boy. You guys can. Don't. Don't. If that guys, would not be a show that anyone would want to watch. <laughs> stonks. Actually, all right. Let's stonks. talk about some stonks here. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, the I'll, numbers go green if they're up uh, and red if they're down. Mm. So only find but what green if you're ones. The yellow yeah. depends on the direction of the arrow. It could be good or bad. But if you're if you're if you're colorblind, you should not get into stonks. It uh, won't make yeah, any I'm sense. Not. I like I like to think that. You and Jeremy could have a, one of those stock shows like that crazy guy on CNN where, or NMSNBC ah! where they like have buzzers and rubber chickens and <laughs> you could just we'd have to put a lot of research yell. into that into that show. Grumio says his Bitcoin is down an awful lot of percents. I don't even know. I'll what be honest. I'm, is. I uh, I made 150 bucks on Bitcoin. I sold the right time right before it crashed, and now I have ten dollars. Crashed? In it. Is it crash? It, it crashed. crashed again. Yeah. I'm still up. I'm still up in in from that. what from what you originally invested yeah. in. Nice. My my five dollars is six fifty eight right now. So there you go. I'm a rich man. You are rich, Kyle. But you know what? That's a that's a good uh, good transition here. Mm, it is that Kyle's a rich man. Kyle's no, oh. not that I'm a rich man. The Bitcoin. Bitcoin's only down like fourteen percent. It's not that bad. Anyways, uh, Apple is in the news. Kind of. BBC News is reporting that a man is suing Apple, claiming the iPhone turned him gay. So this one's great because uh, it's like this those is those noodles and where was the, where were those noodles we reported on that time? So is he self shaming himself because he knows he is, but no. So uh, be? this this is an in incident that or it comes after an incident involving gay coin cryptocurrency. Um, he says that he suffered moral harm and is asking for 1 million rubles, which is about 12,000 uh, euro. pounds, pounds or euro, whatever it is. Uh, according to a copy of the complaint seen by the news agency, um, he, it said that he was, let's see, uh, in the suit he filed, it says that he claimed that a cryptocurrency called GayCoin was delivered via a smartphone app rather than the Bitcoin that he ordered cryptocurrency uh that, that's called gay coin the the note that came along with it said don't judge until you try and he said i thought in truth how can i judge something without trying i decided to try same-sex relationships uh now i have a boyfriend and i do not know how to explain this to my parents because it still is like taboo in russia uh, to be a homosexual. It was decriminalized so, in 1993. It I was. feel like he didn't go in a straight line from iPhone to gay <laughs> here. No, but obviously it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't <laughs> straight, Jeremy. It yeah. was definitely not a straight <laughs> line. Oh, yeah. There it is. But yeah, uh, so uh, it says that Apple pushed human, him towards human homosexuality through manipulation. Apple did, specifically. yeah. Apple specifically delivered the the gay coin because to him. Tim Cook is gay. Because I don't of, know. Because of, wait, because they allowed an app on there that allowed him to buy what he thought was Bitcoin, but was gay coin. I guess. What um, is gay coin? I feel like I, I want. I want to search it, but crypto, I'm scared. It's a cryptocurrency. Mm. Um, but it yeah. says that. He said that they had that the company wait, has a responsibility wait, 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 wait. for the programs. Tub bucks can that become a cryptocurrency? Ooh. I mean, it, it it is a cryptocurrency. I mean, I no, because it's it not worth anything. Yeah, we but should, we should start our own cryptocurrency. Sure. Yeah, never mind. Anyways, so but yeah, they said that he's holding he's holding Apple or saying that they have a responsibility for the programs. Um, 
despite the fact that the alleged exchange was taking place on a third party app. I don't think this is going to be something that he would win, but it, the article uh, says that Apple has not responded uh, to to a request for comment. So he says that the changes has caused him moral and mental harm. Right, because is he not because this third his party gay app that pleasure? he was using? Um, well, I mean, it's it's something that he ca- they uh, Russia still has a ban on, on any gay propaganda. Feels about him blaming someone for turning him gay. Well, if he gets that one million rubles, you know. They'll go on a holiday. Or gay holiday. Yeah. Boo! You suck! That was a really bad pun. (laughs) So stupid. Why am I laughing at it? And I'm proud of it. I dislike that so much. (laughs) Well, thank you, Apple. (sighs) Hopefully they... uh, For making him a fruit. (laughs) No. I don't think you can say that, Jeremy. Yeah. Why? Why not? I don't think that's allowed. Because uh, apple is a fruit. No, I no. No, I understand what the joke was you were trying to make. <laughs> I just don't think you can make that joke. I don't think it's allowed. I don't think in the current culture. But I have an iPhone. In. Does it? Does that make me gay? No, <laughs> have you bought have you bought <laughs> cryptocurrency? That no, that's what caused it. That's what caused it. <laughs> I did I don't even I, know I what just, to say. I'm, yeah, the Jeremy I, that was anytime we have a culturally s- sensitive subject that we even are skirting around. I like fruit. Jeremy just steamrolls it. Uh, I feel like the, I think the show's over. I think we're done. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think we finished the episode. Ah, great talk, great conversation. Thank everybody for being in the chat tonight. I don't want to go away without the, you know, doing that thing where we thank our uh, lovely Patreon peeps. It's all the lovely individual who donate at the monthly. Where'd my music go? It was the wrong music. Level. Sorry, that I'm just I'm disheveled because of. <laughs> because of this comment that Jeremy made. I apologize. There's the Patreon music. Yeah. Uh, no, but yes, I do want to thank all of our lovely Patreon peep. Uh, Mr. Jolliver, you're a gentleman and a, and a scholar, as some might say. You are a, a hero. And uh, thank you for donating at patreon.com slash men in a tub. Uh, if you want to be awesome, like Mr. Jolliver there, you too could be all you got to do is head on down to Patreon Town. Go to patreon.com slash minute in a tub and subscribe today at any level. Yeah. Whether it's a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty six dollars and twelve cents, whatever tickles your fancy. One uh, million rubles. And help us have some donuts for <laughs> extra life. Kyle and Jeremy are for some reason very hung up on the idea that they can't get their own freaking donuts on extra life. I don't know why. This I didn't is, say anything about it's donuts. Just, it's just, it's, you it did earlier. Us. You were like, I need, oh, can we get donuts delivered? And, uh, I was and, uh, just, uh, I'm just trying to be transparent with, you know, what we do with funds. <laughs> Do we buy donuts? We'll buy donuts during really? extra life. I don't know. If you you'll <laughs> help us help the kids. Oh boy! I Are, thought we always bought like meat sticks and cheese. No, you buy the meat sticks. No, I don't. Oh, is it just the hard salami that you buy? I don't buy that at all. <laughs> I bring the crackers. Eric is just Eric is I bring done. The, I bring the crackers with this with this night. Don't you bring the- I just love that the most exciting thing to you guys about extra life <laughs> is what food we're going to eat. Like, well, I mean, there's 24 hours. We got to eat sometime, I right? I like the games and the people. Yeah, what we got to figure out what games we're going to play this year. Mm, all of them. All right, everybody. Thanks for listening slash watching or however you consume this content. Uh, that's up to you. We with give your, you lots with of With your eyeballs ways and your ear holes. It. Uh, you Can know, we do some split screen Borderlands. Hug the people you love, and don't forget to detach your hoses if you live in a freezing zone tonight. Yeah, and so wear cool. wear pants tomorrow. Yeah, put on pants. What are you doing, Kyle? I wore shorts. shorts. It was sixty this morning. You look like one of the Midwestern morons. That's me, <laughs> the Midwestern <laughs> moron. <laughs> it ain't cold out here. <laughs> uh, and just kidding, Kyle. I love you. I'm sorry that was mean. Good night, everyone.
Bye. Hug the ones you love. Kuiper's get over here.